guys, welcome to this week's video. I am having a tattoo removal. Ah! So, as you may know, I have around 50 to 60 tattoos. My artwork kind of joins up and covers the majority of my torso, onto my arms and the top of my thighs. So, all of my tattoos are black ink, apart from two that I've had. The first one I had was a pink Playboy Bunny tattoo, I know, God, when I was 14, uh, which is incredibly underage, but when I was growing up, money spoke. <laughs> the tattoo gradually faded with time and the ink went from a bubblegum pink to a kind of pale grey colour which meant that I could cover it up. So my Playboy Bunny on my hip I had covered with a feather quill tattoo. That's a method of covering over ink that you don't like or no longer want. I then had a second cover up on a black tribal tattoo on my back with wings and feathers. That was originally in black ink, so my option was to draw over it. Fast forward to today, out of around 60 tattoos, there are only two that I've covered up when I was very young. And today, the third one, I'm actually going to have laser tattoo removal. The reason that I'm having this tattoo removed is, again, it's a colour tattoo. So my second only colour tattoo and it has faded. I had a lipstick kiss in red ink put onto my thigh, which looks lovely, but as it begins to fade, it kind of looks like I'm cut or injured. The definition is losing is the ink is fading out, so you just really see more the outline of it as opposed to the shading and to see that it actually is a pair of lips. Um, some, sometimes people think that I'm burnt or that I've scratched myself or I'm injured, which isn't the look I'm going for with a tattoo. If this tattoo was in black ink, I would have absolutely no problem with it. It would have stayed fine, just as all of my other body art has. So it's not that I don't love my tattoo, it's not that I regret my tattoo. I just chose red when I should have chose black. So my options for this tattoo are to have it lasered off, that will remove the red ink from the skin. I can then either go over it again with black ink and have my lips put back, or I can just choose not to have it at all. It depends on the results, everybody will be different. I don't know how many sessions it will take. Different coloured inks are easier or harder to remove. So this is literally my first experience of removing a tattoo. So I will take you with me behind the scenes, come and see how I get on. Apparently it's supposed to really hurt, like way more so than having a tattoo in the first place. And I found having a cover up tattoo, going over scar tissue, which is thickened and hardened, was a lot more painful than having a tattoo. So maybe this will feel the same as having a cover up, maybe it will hurt a little bit more. I will tell you all about it as and when I find out myself. So come along to Pulse Light Clinic and see how I get on. <coughs> Try not to get any friction on it as much as you can. 
really good area for friction. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm now back home after I had my first tattoo removal. Ha! I got rained on so badly, so, so badly. The weather is just like really hideous right now not enjoying all of this rain and all of the wind and all of the people sneezing everywhere. As you saw from my appointment, I was actually really nervous beforehand. I thought it was really gonna hurt, I thought it would burn, I thought it would sting and I thought I'd be in agony. Um, luckily I wasn't, it was literally undetectable. I could not feel a thing thanks to numbing cream. Um, I heard actually that people also use numbing cream for tattoos. What? Since when? Like literally, if I would have known this, I would have had all my tattoos done at once instead of like four or five hour sittings. I would have just been there all day covered in cream. Insane. So I actually used Emla cream. 5%. Don't know if it comes in different percentages. And it says five, five gram of cream without dressing for topical anesthesia. So this actually numbs the surface of the skin. I'll show you what it looks like. That big box, that tiny little tube. The tube is tiny. So what I did, you apply this half an hour before you have your treatment. It goes onto the surface of the skin. With it being on my groin, literally, I thought if I cream this, it's gonna go everywhere. Um, so I applied like a pea size amount, like not a lot, rubbed it into my groin. You can see where they have the tissue there. Rubbed it into my groin. And then I used a plastic sandwich bag to put over it to protect my skin from touching my clothes um, and then when I had my appointment I was then able to have numb skin which was amazing that worked really well after I had my treatment the practitioner then dressed my leg with a bandage I will show you let me just pan you down slightly Doo -doo. so as you can see kind of slid around actually so I've been walking it's a really dodgy area of the body to move so the dress has actually come down you can see the tattoo there it feels quite warm there's a plastic cover over the dressing and it was creamed afterwards and then covered so I don't have to do anything now to my tattoo area um, it's very much treated like the first time you have a tattoo you keep it dry and free from steam and moisture and dirt for 24 hours and then after that you apply a moisturizing cream to it um, you just you do that for a couple of weeks until it heals and then it's like ta-da I can return in six weeks time if I want to have another treatment it depends on how this disappears and fades which is going to be really exciting to start with because it is red ink it will get darker as it is broken down before it passes away so um, it's not to be alarmed that it hasn't disappeared immediately from one treatment it will gradually take time over the next six weeks for it to fade away when you have a darker ink like black ink it will go raised up and white looking so it responds very differently to the different colors that you have which i think is actually quite exciting i really love my tattoo being darker red if it stayed like that i would have kept it it's so annoying i will keep you updated on my progress because i found this really really fascinating and i'm so relieved that it didn't hurt if you can get numbing cream i think they do numbing sprays there's probably like so much stuff on the market now definitely use it they did at the same time blow a cold air onto my leg um, which in itself numbs the skin uh, so I think the combination of cold air and Emla cream was insane it was just so good it didn't hurt when I had the patch test it really stung when I had the actual full treatment itself it took a couple of minutes I did not feel a thing it was just brilliant I will be keeping a blog on my progress here I will put the link in the description of this video so that you can follow me from start to finish and I will show you the end results, whether I get another tattoo over the top or not once the red is taken away, or if I just say, do you know what, I'm gonna leave that as a blank space. I haven't decided. It's all really very much down to how my results pan out here and um, it will all be in the blog as I say. So any questions you have, anything you would like to know about tattoo removal, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to come back and answer them. And thank you for joining me. Let me know if you think I should tattoo over with some black lips to match my other tattoos, or if you think I should leave my skin plain there now. I love tattoos, I love my lips tattoo, I'm gutted that it faded. I love how beautiful it looks now that it's red again, but I know it won't last. <laughs> So um, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on this, guys. Until next time, I will see you all soon. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, write me a comment, and keep watching for more.